in this session we are studying the next phylum that is Ascalminthus or Nemethalminthus or Nematoda. This is also called as roundworm because when we take the cross section of this organism we will get a round shape that is the reason we are calling it as roundworm okay so this uh, the cross section of the body as it is circular we will call it as roundworm okay now we will see the habitat of this organism it will be seen in the aquatic habitat it is seen in aquatic habitat it is seen in terrestrial habitat it is present as it is present as parasites in plants and animals. It is present as parasites in plant, plants and animals. So here the habitat of this organism if we see they are free living terrestrial aquatic as well as parasitic form. It is present in plants and animals. Now if we see the body symmetry they have bilateral body symmetry. They have bilateral body symmetry. Bilateral body symmetry is present in this group of organism. Body organization, if we see from this group of organism, we can see they have organ system level of body organization. Organ system level of body organization. They are triploblastic organisms. They are triploblastic organism. They have both ectoderm, they have all ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm layer. And they are pseudocelomate. They are pseudocelomate. They are pseudocelomate. We can see there the coelom it is covered by blastocele. Or coelom it is formed inside the blastocele. Blastocele are the coelom in a cover. Sadarna coelom in a cover is the mesoderm. Here it is covered by blastocele. And we can see the digestive system of this group of organism. It has a well developed mouth, pharynx as well as the elementary canal like intestine and anus. Okay, so here the digestive system, it, con it consists of mouth, pharynx, intestine and anus. It undergo extracellular digestion. It undergo extracellular digestion because they have digestive glands and all. They will secrete the enzyme for the digestion of the food particles and it will undergo uh, digestion outside the cell. Okay, so it will undergo extracellular digestion. And respiratory system, it is through the body surface. The cutaneous type of respiration it is present in this group of organism. Respiration is through the body surface. Here, circulatory system, when we see there is no circulatory system present in this group of organism. Or we can say the circulatory system is underdeveloped. Circulatory system is underdeveloped. And the excretory system of this organism, they have an excretory system which consists of protonephridia. This protonephridia, they have an H-shaped cells called as ranet cells. Okay, so they have H-shaped cells called as Ranet cell. Ranet cell in the bagaitan and the protonephridia the bagaitan. It underdeveloped nephridia in that the special cell which is called as ranet cells. And their excretory waste is ammonia. They excrete the waste in the form of ammonia. Excretory waste is ammonia. Body skeleton, if you see their body skeleton, it is hydroskeleton. That is the fluid which is filled inside the pseudocelom. So here the body skeleton, it is hydroskeleton. Now, the nervous system, it, it consists of circumpharyngeal ring as brain. Our platyal minthus nekka developed the nervous system. They have circumpharyngeal ring like brain. Brain poly structure ngode in the circumpharyngeal ring is present in this. And they have some sense organ. So here the sense organ which include that is amphids and phasmids, papillae, papillae also. Okay, papillae in the marine or a sensory structure in there that is present in the lip that is touch receptor. Touch receptor. And we can see amphids that is also present in the lip region that is chemoreceptor. 
that is chemoreceptor and this too it is present in the lip it is present in the lip and we can see another type of uh, uh, sensory organ or sensory structure which is seen in this group of organism that is called as phasmid phasmid it is present in the hind end of the body it is present in the hind end of the body okay so here we can see once again we will see the characteristic feature of this organism in the if i let in the pair ask tell me this alangi nema tell me this alangi nema choda it is a number round worm worry because when we take the cross section of it we will get a circular structure so we will call it as round worm now if you see the characters uh, like habitat of this organism they are present in uh, free living form aquatic habitat it is present in terrestrial habitat it is present in parasitic form in the plants as well as in animals and the body symmetry if you see they have a bilateral body symmetry and body organization they have organ system level of body organization organ system level of body organization start in the middle and it and they are triploblastic organism they have pseudocelom pseudocelom is covered by blastocele and digestive system it include well developed the mouth the pharynx intestine and anus and it undergo extra cellular digestion because they have digestive glands and all now the respiratory system it is through the body surface we can see the circulatory system it is underdeveloped or undeveloped itself we can say an excretory system which is seen as a protonephridia it consists of special h shaped cells called as vanad cell and the excretory waste is ammonia body skeleton it is hydroskeleton that is a fluid filled cavity that is seen in the pseudocelom pseudocelom ile fluid fluid narnjirikkunna ana adine stability kodukunna eta nervous system it has circumpharyngeal ring in addition to the network of nerve fibers present in the body and we can see they have some sense organs like phasmids papillae and uh, amphids so here the papillae and amphids they both are present in the uh, lip region papillae it is a touch receptor and amphids they are chemoreceptors and we can see this phasmids it is present in the hind end of the body of the organism now according to this one sorry next one reproductive system the reproductive system present in this organism they are dioecious organism these organisms are dioecious idengena dioecious ana they will be having male small one and female big one and the female one that will die and the male one that will die so here the male it will produce the male gamete and female it produces the female gamete now we can see there is a kind of uh, uh, pseudo penis like structure present in the male organism it will undergo copulation with the female organism their internal fertilization it occurs internal fertilization it occurs in this group of organism internal fertilization occurs in the group of this organism and it will undergo mostly direct development sadharana adinathe direct development aanu nadakka chalapa chala cases la indirect development nadakkum chala cases la indirect development nadakkum adhe pole ee organism kaanikkunna oru characteristic feature aanu utile nu parayunna utile is nothing but during the developmental stages from there till the adult stage it will be having similar number of cells or same number of cells avare cell number kodunnilla avare cell inde valippam kodittaanu aa organismathinu valippam vekkya annu paraya adhaayathu young stage ilum adult stage ilum ore number cells kaanunnathiniyaanu endu paraya utile nu paraya so utile is a characteristic feature of this group of organism okay so this is all about the characters of this organism now some examples it has given in our textbook before that we will see the classification and it, in which class these all organism it has given the example it will come under we will see okay appo nammal padicha itre idana ende characteristic features nu parayna askelminthes inde habitat idana bilateral symmetry ana organ system level of body organization triploblastic pseudocelom ana adu pole ende digestive system mouth of pharynx uh, intestine anus okke ullu complete digestive system ana ivadu nanu namukku tube bitine tube body plan start cheyina ta tube bitine tube body plan അതേപോലെ ഇത് പ്രോട്ടോസ്റ്റോമേറ്റു ആണ് എന്താ പ്രോട്ടോസ്റ്റോമേറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഗ്യാസ്ട്രോ ഇന്റസ്റ്റിനൽ ട്രാക്റ്റില് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോ പോർ ഡെവലപ്പ് ആയിട്ട് മൗത്ത് ആയിട്ട് മാറുന്നതിനെയാണ് എന്ത് പറയാ പ്രോട്ടോസ്റ്റോമേറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ദ ആർ പ്രോട്ടോസ്റ്റോമേറ്റ് എക്സ്ക്യൂസ് മീ 
respiratory system it is through the body surface circulatory system it is undeveloped or underdeveloped excretory system it is through ranet cell body skeleton it is hydroskeleton nervous system circumpharyngeal ring is present papilla is there arm fits are there and phasmids are there papilla that is touch receptors arm fits that is chemo receptors phasmids that is present in the intent of the body that also act as a sense organ reproductive system nammal nokkiyala dioecious organism aanu male and female entirely different aanu male vandittu cherudum female valudhu varikkum it undergo internal fertilization development mostly it will undergo direct development adhe pole thane ee organism kaanikunna oru characteristic feature aanu utile nu parayana now we will see the classification of this group of organism according to the presence or absence of this phasmids and amphids it has been classified into two different groups ingane rendu group aayittu classify cheyidittunde that is aphasmidia and phasmidia aphasmidia and phasmidia idine nematode it is classified into two different groups that is aphasmidia ിയയിൽ വന്നിട്ട് ആംഫിഡ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും പ്രോമിനന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫാസ്മിഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഹൈലി റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് സോ ആംഫിഡ്സ് പ്രോമിനന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫാസ്മിഡ് ഈസ് ഹൈലി റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് പക്ഷെ ഫാസ്മീഡിയൽ നമ്മള് ഫാസ്മിഡ്സ് ആർ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ആംഫിഡ്സ് ആർ റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് example for this both the group we will see see here this uh, uh, amphids it include trichuris and trichinella trichuris and trichinella trichinella trichuris ee rendu worms aanu endil varunad aphasmidia il varunad trichuris is also called as whip worm idinu nammal parayna peru aanu whip worm ഇതിന് പറയുന്ന പേരാണ് ട്രിച്ചിനാവോ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് വൺ ഈസ് ട്രിച്ചിനല്ല ആൻഡ് ട്രിച്ചൂറിസ് ട്രിച്ചിനല്ല ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ട്രിച്ചിനാവോം ട്രിച്ചൂറിസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് വിപ് വോം അതേപോലെ ഫാസ്മീഡിയ ആംഫിഡ്സ് റെഡ്യൂസ് ആയിട്ട് ഫാസ്മിഡ്സ് കൂടുതൽ കാണുന്ന ഓർഗാനിസത്തിന് നമ്മൾ ഫ്ലാസ്മീഡി ഫാസ്മീഡിയ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നൗ യൂസ് ഈ സം എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഗിവൻ ഇൻ അവർ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അസ്കാരിസ് ഓർ റൗണ്ട് വോം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് അസ്കാരിസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വേറൊരു പേരെന്താണ് റൗണ്ട് വോം ദെൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഉച്ചറേറിയ ഉച്ചറേറിയ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഫൈലേറിയൽ വോം ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ സി എൻസൈക്ലോസ്റ്റോമ ഇതൊരിക്കൽ ചോദിച്ച ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ ആണ് കേട്ടോ എൻസൈക്ലോസ്റ്റോമ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഹുക്ക് വോം അത് ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ അതിന്റെ ബ്രാക്കറ്റിൽ അസ്കാരിസ് എന്താണ് ഉച്ചറേറിയ എന്താണ് എൻസൈക്ലോസ്റ്റോമ എന്താണെന്ന് എഴുതാത്ത അസ്കാരിസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റൗണ്ട് വോം ഉച്ചറേറിയ ഫൈലേറിയൽ വോം ആൻഡ് എൻസൈക്ലോസ്റ്റോമ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഹുക്ക് വോം ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ സി അനദർ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഓർഗാനിസം പ്രസന്റ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലോവ ലോവ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഐ വോം ഐസിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഐസിൽ ഒരു ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ കൊടുക്കുന്ന ഒരു വേം ആണ് ലോവ ലോവ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഓർഗാനിസം ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ കംസ് അണ്ടർ ഫാസ്റ്റ് മീഡിയ സോ വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ വിൽ സി ദ ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദിസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓർ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് സെൻസറി റിസെപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് that is amphids if it is come it is present a prominently in organism that is called as a fast media if fast media are present that is called as fast media Uh, amphids example aanu amphids ullo organisathana example aanu trichinella adu pole ne trichurism trichinella it is also called as trichina worm trichuris it is also called as uh, whip worm and phasmidi ki example aanu ascaris ascaris is round worm ucheraria that is filarial worm and cyclostoma that is hook worm and lova lova that is the i worm okay so this is all about the uh, phylum ascalminthes ascalminthes uh, phylum itre uh, illu so these are the characteristic features and its classification we need to study adhi adutha phylum namukku padikkanulla the phylum annelid that we will study in the next session okay